to be a part of this project and to have my say and have my voice heard, that was a really big healing moment for me. A mural designed to bring the community together in taking action and talking about hate was unveiled in Carameas on Friday afternoon. It feels amazing to be here. It's so nice as a young Indigenous artist to be included in these conversations of diversity, of going from hate to hope, um, hope for a better future community, uh, hope for uh, less racism and discrimination in our communities, which is something as an Indigenous person I know a lot of my relatives experience all the time. The four panel mural builds on the BC Human Rights Commissioner's inquiry into hate in the pandemic. Public art is, there's no question that it is an important piece of social change. If we are really going to speak to people uh, and to their hearts and to change minds about these issues, then we need to do it through other mechanisms as well. Regan spent an entire week and a half painting the four panels, which now stand in front of the South Similkameen Health Centre on Highway 3. And I was able to put a little bit of indigeneity into each of these panels. I've got my grandmother, Grace Grey Eyes, uh, in the Pride Crosswalk panel. I've got the round dance that I participated in at Truth and Reconciliation Day event in Penticton last year, which I also helped organize. And at the very, very end in the Community Library panel, I've got these two coyotes arching their backs, which is also the logo for the Penticton Indian Band where I'm from. For Castnet News in Carameas, I'm Casey Richardson.